I'll show you how to make a homemade DIY surgical mask. This is what it's going to look like in the end. The materials you're going to need is two pieces of string, a kitchen paper towel, and a stapler. First step, you want to fold the kitchen paper towel in half. This is roughly the size of your face. And then take a piece of string, take one end, place it on the paper towel about a third of the way up and staple across the string. This is so that you can adjust the string. You can pull it under the staple. Do the same thing with the other end of the string, about one third of the way from the bottom. Staple across it. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing on the bottom. All right, after you're done with all the strings, you wanna make a little fold between the two strings on the side. This is so the mask will hug your face better because your face is curved, it's not flat. And after you made a little fold, Staple it to secure in place. Do the repeat the same thing on the other side. Make a little fold. Staple it in place. And now it should have a nice curve horizontally. And since your face is also curved vertically, we're gonna make another fold on the top, like so. This is for your nose. And staple it in place. Okay, and you're all done. These go around your ears. And after you've measured out your size, you can pull the string, adjust the size, after you're done, just tie in knots to secure it in place for your own face. And this is the final product that's tied, the knot is tied to fit my face. I'll show you what it looks like. First, take over one ear, secure it. Oh. Take over one ear, secure it. And then wrap it around your face, fold your other ear, put the string behind your ear. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, it surrounds my face very well. So masks in different pharmacies are already sold out. So I decided, why not make my own? So I'm going to use this fleece blanket to make a mask. And the reason why I'm using this fleece blanket is that it's breathable and its textile is very fine. So on the th onto the things you're going to need, just a cloth scissor, fleece blanket, and some garter. So the first step is to get one corner of the fleece blanket and fold it into two and cut it in this kind of half moon kind of shape. So next step is to find something to puncture the cloth with, just like this. So the next step is to get your garter and put it through the holes in this way. Put each of the ends into each of the holes, just like that. And the higher string on the higher hole will go through the back, just like that. And then going down to the bottom, just like that. Okay, so bring this at the back. So this one will go around the head and this just, you're just gonna tie it. Alright, so you hold it in this way, this over your head, get your comfortable, like right four, and then your two ends, grab it, knot it. I think you need someone to help you out with this. <laughs> so, this is what the mask looks like. Do you guys think it can filter out the viruses? Comment down below. So guys, if you don't like to use the mask, you can use the scarf, just put it over your nose like this. <laughs>